Game Destroyers TV, welcome to the show. Dark Paul here, and welcome back to Mod Shot. So, today we have a Chevrolet S10 pickup truck by Zen Master Modding, and it looks nice. It does look nice, and it has a rebel style anti roll bar set up here with the a rollover bar set up, I should say, with the work lights on top of it. Which is a nice touch. And I do like it. I like the look of it. It's pretty clean. It's a very clean setup. Uh, the ringings are yellow. Which kind of threw me for a moment. It has a tow hitch, but it doesn't have a, a gooseneck. So, or tie downs. No tie downs either. I do like it though. I like the look of it. Anyway, let us have a look at the interior view. Now, one problem I found is the camera is reversed in here and there isn't actually a finished interior in this mod yet, but that's not an issue really, to be honest. But yeah, camera's reversed. I'm moving the mouse left, I'm looking right, looking left, uh, moving right, I'm moving left. Down and up's okay, but left and right's bad. Likewise, it has... Plenty of working lights. Actually, does it have? Hang on, turning the HUD on a second. I was just looking to see if. No, it doesn't. I turn the HUD back off. The beacons, of course, work. I was looking to see if there was another button to press for the these little LEDs here, but I don't see one. So I don't think there is a way of turning them on. Just a shame, it's nice to be able to have them little LEDs be able to beam backwards. But all the lights work fine and whatnot. The they're a little dull, but that's because the design of the truck has the shaded headlight covers by the looks of it, the black blackout uh, headlight covers and tail light covers. So let's put it through, through its paces. We'll take it with a spin and see how it does. Okay, well so far around that corner there, I handled it pretty well. It doesn't feel like it's light in the back end, it doesn't feel like it's wanting to spin out on me like some mods do. But we'll find out exactly how light it is when we get down here. Yeah, I'm even maneuvering at relatively high speeds and I'm not losing grip, so let's head down through here. Oh yeah, very nicely weighted. The suspension bounced about nicely there when we landed. I love that on mods when that happens. Oh yeah, plenty of suspension travel. Very nice. So let's take it up to our high speed run. Well, we'll take it up through our off-road section here and then we'll go through to the high speed run down through the field. It's climbing up here pretty nicely. It's not struggling too hard at all. The uh, ideal maintenance vehicle or work vehicle for your round about your farm. Getting ATB or moving small amounts of equipment or whatnot. That's be perfect for it. So let's get some speed up across the field here and get some good shots of it, the way it's bouncing around. Now unlike a mod I reviewed the other day, this actually has something connecting the wheels to the model, so it actually has suspension and axles and whatnot. Thank you mod maker. Thank you Zen Master. Nothing worse than you get a mod and uh, wheels are just seemingly floating there. Oh yeah, this handles really smoothly. It's not really wanting to fishtail about at all, even at speed. I'm making good time across the, the map here, so that's definitely worthwhile. So if you want to check this mod out, I'll have a link in the description below. And I will be back tomorrow with another mod shot, so till then everyone. Stay safe.